Good evening and welcome to episode 84 of Rare Hot Wheels. Now tonight we're going to have a look at the last part or the last uh, few carded cars from the first mailbox from this year. And uh, again, there's a bunch of nice little machines in there and uh, a few quite rarities, a few treasure hunts and 100% uh, Hot Wheels. So they're going to be quite good and we'll get onto those in a moment. But in the meantime, a couple of weeks ago, I bought one of these, a GoPro clone and a chest harness as well so I can mount the thing here and uh, what I'm going to use this for is when we go out on Sundays to the car boot sales and flea markets I'm going to put the thing on and uh, film what I do. It looks like the uh, the last car boot sale video that I did was quite popular with people coming along with me to have a look through the boxes and bits and pieces of what people have got for sale. So we've got the camera and uh, I did a test run with it last weekend however there weren't many people out because it had been pouring with rain and a lot of people don't like putting their wares out on the ground on a wet day so uh, hopefully this Sunday will be a bit better although uh, there is the remnants of a hurricane coming in from the Atlantic uh, Sunday into Monday so fingers crossed uh, the weather will be good enough to do it so we'll get the camera on and you can come with me to the boot cells anyway back to the Hot Wheels and these are rarer Hot Wheels so let's get on with the show and have a look at them. So first up in this episode we'll kick off with a Larry Wood casting. The Purple Passion Woody. This neat Spectral Flame Orange Purple Passion Woody comes from the 2009 Hot Wheels Collectors Rail Riders Series 8. This little surfer wagon rides on white wool rail riders and features a surfboard sticking out of the back window. Purple Passion Woody was introduced in 2008 and still pops up from time to time. This one is number 8180 of 8500. This 56 Chevy 210 is one of the 100% Hot Wheels limited editions from 2001. These 100% Hot Wheels cars are highly detailed and have a superb finish. This one features a blown big block and pro street style fat tires tucked under the rear and skin is up front. A nice ride with a lot of attitude. Next we turn to one of the 2003 Highway 35 releases with the Phil Rahman designed 70 Roadrunner. This release comes in an unusual package complete with a comic and what looks like a sticker in the top corner. The tampos on this little thing are absolutely superb with real style flames and super detailed motifs on the hood and trunk. The 70 Roadrunner was introduced in 1998. Now we have the first of three treasure hunts with this Whip Creamer 2 from 2004. This new version of Whip Creamer was designed by Alec Tam and introduced in 2003. This one features white band reel riders and a really nice shade of lime green. Although Whip Creamer 2 hasn't officially been retired, it last saw light of day in 2014. Let's hope they bring out some new versions of it soon. The second of the treasure hunts is this split in image from the 2004 uh, treasure hunt series. This is a faithful retool of the original that was designed by the legendary Ira Guilford and features pearlescent white paint with purple and black flame tampos and a really cool set of chunky real rider tires. This retooled version was introduced in 2002 whereas the original came out in 69. A nice looking casting it is. Now we have something relatively modern with this very pretty 55 Corvette from the 2012 Hot Wheels Boulevard series. This little red casting 
with a red interior and white wall tires looks every inch the fifth is custom and I say custom with a K. Designed by Li Wei Chang the 55 Corvette was released in 2012. Buy one go on it's lovely. And the final casting of this episode is the last of our three treasure hunts. The stunning, so fast, in a lovely shade of Spectra Flame Copper, running big Real Rider 5 spokes with redline tyres. Designed by Mark Jones and introduced in 2001, so fast is a really cool hot rod style ride. And with its chop roof and raked screen, it looks like it should be pounding the salts at Bonneville. Well that's all for this time folks, thanks for watching and tune in soon to have a look at some of these, some of the castings I picked up at the National Street Rod Association Super Nationals earlier this year, so take care and see you soon.